Our lead rope still coming through. And as you can see, we've got Mackenzie Brown, Locker. Let's go, Tiani! Here we go. We will be the Division Three Southern Section Champions. The fastest runner in the country this year, both on cross country and track, running very well. Good job, good job. The sophomore from Dana Hills gives his Southern Section Champions. CIF Southern Section Division 2 Finals, Newberry Park with the tremendous performance. Team time 73-25. That's a 14-41 average on this course. Led in front by Nico Young, supposedly holding back and held back to a 13-55, crushing the course record here. Coach Sean Brosnan, both teams, girls and boys, CIF champions. What was your biggest concern coming in and what did you think of today's performances? You know, um, biggest concern coming in was, you know, I always say picking our battles wisely and going hard today, but not killing it that we have something left in the tank for next week at the state championship. That's our overall goal and, you know, going to NXN and doing well there. But in order to get there, we have to do well at the state meet. So it's just hard sometimes a week out. But the way we're trying to set our training up, the way we're, we're, we're doing it this year, I think we're going to be at our best state meet in the nationals. So that's always the concern is guys not going too hard today, just leaving a little bit in the tank. And um, I forget what the rest of the question was, but I'm just super proud of the guys and girls. You know, they came in with this goal early on, CIF, state champions. And, um, you know, for them to put it together, especially on the girls' side, I think they were kind of under the radar coming in the season. And they really... Uh, you know, they're a, real, they're a legit team. We have new leaders every week. We have, um, you know, a new one, a new two, a new three, a new four. You don't know who that's going to be. Right. And that is like, that's just, it's been beautiful to watch. It's been awesome. On the girls' side, last night we put out the, our new state rankings. They were number one in the state, and they yeah. sure showed it today. Uh, it, as far as their progress, what are you most proud of as far as from the start of the season to where they're at now? What's been the big hurdle, if one, they've had to overcome? The only thing I would say is a hurdle to overcome is, you know, their confidence. They're just a lot more confident. Obviously, going in, I don't know if we've ever qualified for a state meet in Newberry Park. You know, I don't think, I think, the, I think our best result ever was in 78, was like a second place, I heard. And if that's true or not, at a CIF, and I think we were Division three or four then, that's what I'm told by some school officials, but I can't find any results that far back. But I think that, you know, I'm just really impressed with the girls showing that, you know, in, a, in the bigger picture, the bigger races, they're confident. They, they knew they were going to win coming in, and they, they put it out there. And, you know, next week we have to have that same attitude. And, you know, you can't, can't uh, take anyone for granted, though. You know, there's going to be some tough teams, and we know who they are. And we, we're going to have to run that course a little different from the past, and we're going we're to let it roll. Let's switch to the boys now. You guys were the clear favorites coming in. Yeah. Clear favorites next week in Division Two. You were down two guys. You're number five and you're number seven. But you guys yeah. got great depth. Yes. Earlier in the season, you talked about, in a sense, Nico holding back a lot today, yeah, holding back at state. He ran a little bit faster, but you mentioned after the race you saw him. What did you see? At two miles, he looked right at me a little bit before the two-mile mark, and he just he nodded. He was okay. I knew he was fine. Nico is a mature athlete now that he knows not to push too hard when it's too hard. I didn't know until a half hour after the race what his time was because I was still standing out in the course at a different part. Um, I saw, I think, 13.54, 13.55, whatever the time was. I, you know, honestly, I mean, I think he can go 15 seconds faster here if he wanted to uh, easily, but he, he is just so fit right now, confident, he's healthy, he's, his head is right, and it's gonna, be, it's gonna be good next two weeks. So you know what he can do, right? but today, with what you saw him during the race holding back, were you a little surprised at what time he did run today, given the fact yes. he was holding back? I, I, I am, I mean, to run 13.55 and on a, a, you know, a course like this and, and holding back is, is pretty amazing. Obviously, you know, you look at the time compared to everyone else and what they run, you say, oh my gosh, but Nico's on another level, you know, and he is just, everything is going to plan, and, you know, the whole goal is just to keep him healthy, keep him, you know, you know, sharp, and he's going to be ready to go. Right now, looking at various factors, he is clearly now, clearly on pace to break the course record next, next week if he were to let it roll. Is he going to be allowed to let it roll and go for it? Is he going to measure it a little bit? What's the 
plan for right now? I think this second, I think he's going to measure it. You know, um, we have a we have a race plan, um, and we know what we have to do. And he has to make a decision in that race and be honest with himself. And I'm going to be a certain part of, part of that course, and I'm going to I'm going to want to watch him. I want to see what he looks like. I don't know if we want to chase records. I've never been a record chaser. Um, you know, it's different on the track than cross country. I would rather him just get the title. Our team get the title. Go to the national meet. I'd rather him win the national meet and us win the national meet. And I think Nico would say the same. So I think it would probably be if he ha if he broke that record, it would probably have to not be 100% effort. And I don't I don't know if that's possible because it's a pretty dark good record although he's a lot fitter than he was when he ran 1428 he just is so. some of the very best runners in national history got to be as good as they are because they were very careful in how they approach races right just like he is which is great to see the squad the boy squad just keeps delivering yeah your thoughts on the performance today for the whole team in general the whole team I'm, I'm very happy with there was one or two guys that probably could have run a little faster but they had some issues that I know what they are or there's certain things that happen and you know shoe almost coming off stupid little things like that but the bottom line is I'm happy with them you know I mean to break the course record which I just found out about and um, you know obviously to get the win by a good amount like that you know we are, I mean these guys are good you know I, some of these programs you got to respect Dana Hills is good every year I, I mean people are like oh you got you're a clear favorite I said I, no way I don't you ever want to count anybody out um, and those and I have nothing but respect for those teams and you know it's pretty awesome to watch them run too and you know I think that we just need to you know they, our guys do a good job of you know, focusing on what they can do and what they can do only, not worrying about the noise around them, and that's what we try to do.